Hey guys, welcome to the Brick Box and another LEGO Legends of Shima review. This is the largest set out of all the new sets and it is set number 7006 and it is Kragger's Command Ship. This is ages 8 to 14 and you do get 6 really cool minifigures included in this set. Now this does come with 609 pieces and to buy this in the UK it will cost £69.99 and 99 pence. And for you guys in the USA, it will be $79.99 to purchase. Now this does come with one sticker sheet with roughly 15 to 20 stickers included on that sheet. You do get two instruction manuals, one small and one large. And you do get the complimentary brick separator as well. So here is the front of your box, some really cool artwork on there and there on the back. You can see we do have some awesome illustration pictures. So on to those all important minifigures and we will start with this guy Chromulus. And again, these minifigures are completely outstanding. I'm blown away by how good these look. There you can see we have the golden green on the headpiece. Love that, absolutely outstanding. Comes with the gold body armour and we get the detail there to the torso and the legs comes with this very interesting weapon we get the translucent axe head on it now uh, I'm not sure I've seen one of these before but you do get two of these in this set so you do get a spare which is uh, interesting to know and then round to the back we have this awesome uh, ripped and uh, raggedy looking cape do like that gives the minifigure a great look and with the accessories removed we can see the detail to the rear of the torso, we can see that face print as well looking very mean. Round to the front, we can see that detail again. And I love that face print. That is one mean looking face. And next up we have the main guy himself. It is Kraga, the main bad guy. Comes with this very impressive looking jaw uh, sided weapon. It looks like Darth Maul's jaw uh, lightsaber, but we get the black lightsaber hilt in the middle with this maximum upgrade uh, with the lightsaber blades inserted into these gold pieces looks very mean looks like it can do maximum damage we get this awesome headpiece with the scar that you can see there on the eye definitely been in a few battles this guy we have all this awesome detail the gold uh, chest armor as well chest and shoulder armor and you can see that headpiece is outstanding and again we get one of these capes to the rear and with the accessories removed we can see the detail a bit more on the rear of the torso that face print is pretty cool he's got a damaged eye so he's definitely been in a few wars and then to the front we have all this detail to the torso and legs and again that really cool second face print and next it is Krula this kind of looks like a female character or female uh, crocodile can't be sure but the purple definitely gives it that female uh, feel to it. We have this again awesome headpiece with uh, an earring there on the side. That really nice detail to the torso and the legs. Two earrings this side and then on the rear you can see we have that extra detail. It definitely looks like a female guys. The clothes on the top and then the bottom definitely gives it that female feel. And with the headgear removed we can see that face print there. Purple eyes and then we have that more shocked expression there for the second face print. And next up we have the awesome looking Raw's Arm. Comes with this weapon there. And we have this really outstanding headpiece with the gold metallic pieces on there. It gives it some kind of class really doesn't it guys? How good does that look? Then we have the gold body armour again. Detail to the legs and the torso and the black wings to the rear. And with all the accessories removed, let's take a better look at that detail to the rear of the torso there, that one face print with some nice metallic gold highlights as well. And the second face print to the head, again with the awesome highlights and the body and the legs just blasting out there with abundance of detail. And next up we have one of the good guys, it is a Lennox. Comes with this weapon, which is a sight guided a laser weapon by the looks of it with this awesome headpiece again lots of detail body armor in the gold color the really cool brown hair that just flies back to the back of the head 
And with the accessories removed, we can see the detail to the rear of the torso, the one face print there. And then we have all that detail to the torso, really cool, showing the muscles off as well, the uh, abs, etc., underneath all that clothing. And then that second face print. And lastly, we have a Leonidas. He seems to be one of the more common characters, this guy. So I would expect doubles of this if you do go out and buy the majority of these sets. does come with this one Chi crystal. So you get three Chi crystals in this set in total. That really cool, brightly orange coloured headpiece. Very goofy looking though, this guy. Uh, it does have that awesome detail there all the way from the torso down to the legs. And we do have this uh, torso detail to the rear. And with the headpiece removed, we have that one face print and that other face print, but like I say, he does look a very goofy. So here is Cragger's command ship. This is one mind-blowing set, guys. It is awesome. There is so much going on on this, so many features. Uh, as you can see, the base here, if you have bought city sets before and you've had a boat, this is the floatable uh, boat section. So you could actually float this in the bath, maybe, if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and do that, but it is a possibility as this will float. Now let's start at the front, we have this awesome opening mouth with all these teeth in. How fierce does that look? That is one amazing looking gape there on that alligator or crocodile. And uh, there you can see from the front, it does look really mean. Now on the sides we do have these claws as well. You can actually move these up and down if you want to. And you can see all these sticker applications to the front. And on the front we do have these drag engine pieces for the nostrils. That's a nice touch. And there you can see the translucent uh, red cockpit glass pieces. That is for the control section of the command ship. And there you see that you can actually lift those up. And inside there we have a printed uh, control panel. And we also have a steering wheel in there as well. And those will go down. And those look like the eyes on the alligator. That is one awesome touch on this. Now on the sides we do have these mini boats and these will unclip. Now this is an awesome feature of this set. These will just unclip from the side as you can see there and there is your mini boat, your mini croc boat. Absolutely awesome. And there you get these uh, radars or laser weapons on the front and this piece does move slightly. You get the handlebars and then you get all these translucent pieces, the main engine block, and then you get the propeller at the back as well. It's all in green, looks absolutely amazing. And you, like I say, you get one this side, and also you get that one that side as well. So you get two deployable mini boats. Now we have lots of sticker applications, as you can see there. We have all these spines, have the central section of the boat as well, to stand your figures on. And we have some weapons clipped onto this section as well with the lightsaber blades inserted. Now this section does come off but before I do that I will show you this really cool piece of the set and that is the tail. This is a whippable tail. It is jointed there and there as well so it has two joints so you can curl it right the way around. But I do think that is one awesome feature of this set. Now this rear section is actually a croc helicopter and it does deploy. So you can remove this from the main body of the boat and this is an, a helicopter. We have the engines there with the propellers and these you can actually move. So if you wanted them straight you could have them straight or down and the tail does come with it as well. And we have all these sticker applications there. We have the lever control panel at the back and then we have this cockpit section with the handlebars and then we have these what look like laser beams on the top there with translucent red centers and then we have this homing or laser sight vision there which is a translucent piece so that would be for these lasers there that is a really nice touch and this on this side as well is exactly the same we have another another engine with a propeller again but that is one awesome feature of this set that you can deploy the helicopter if you want to. Now with the helicopter removed we can actually utilize the boat a bit more and look at it in a bit more detail. We do get two Chi 
uh, gems or jewels at the back there and these are just slotted into these pieces we have a, a wrench at the back and then we have all this space, couple of weapons, an axe and a spear and then we have a ladder section at the back there which takes you up to the cockpit area but if I give this a 360 spin guys without the deployable helicopter on you can see it in a bit more detail it is easier to show I do love like, these deployable mini boats at the side though guys those are awesome so there it is guys Kragger's command ship with deployable mini boats and also the deployable helicopter as well which will just sit back in its housing at the back here he says yes there it is it's back in position now and ready to roll but this is one mean beast of a set so here we have the two patrol jet skis for Lennox and Leonidas to go on patrolling not too much going on here guys but they are uh, quite cool really nice little jet skis we get sticker application there we get the handle bars as well and there is your standing uh, position there with the four studs you can stand at Leonidas in there or Lennox and you do get two of these okay guys so let's rate this set I will start with the younger collectors I will give this a solid 10 out of 10 for this set as there is lots of playability with this set you can actually float it in water there are lots of uh, different things you can detach from it etc and you get those awesome minifigures yes it is expensive but it is still a awesome play piece. On to the teenage collectors I will give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, the older teenagers will definitely appreciate the minifigures and also the set doesn't look too bad on display even though it is aimed at the younger collector but the younger teenagers will definitely appreciate the playability of the set. And on to the adult collector I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 for the adult collector uh, relatively high for a theme that is actually targeted at the younger collector but the minifigures are absolutely outstanding in this and I don't think the set looks too bad guys it, it would look nice on display even though it's not an adult theme set it still looks pretty mean and pretty awesome well thanks for tuning into this review please do stay tuned and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all the Shima Lego reviews coming from this channel, there are lots more I have in possession ready to review for you guys. But until the next time, brick on. <laughs>